Hello and welcome to another VecDeasy video tutorial. My name is Rick and today we're going to be learning how to create and apply patterns in Adobe Illustrator. Let's start by making a custom pattern. We've downloaded this snowflake vector and we're going to customize it by adding a light green background. We're going to create some wrapping paper out of this pattern and we're going to go to the arrange menu and send that background to the back so that our snowflake sits on top. Now we've got a customized pattern element that we want to use and we want to turn it into a pattern that can actually be used to fill in objects within our document. So I'm first going to copy our vector that we've created and paste it into our final document. Perfect, there it is. Now, if I scroll down, you'll see what we're trying to do here. We're going to take one of these packages and we're going to create some new wrapping paper for this package that will be the pattern of our snowflake. So let's go back up to our snowflake and let's convert this to an actual pattern. The way to do that is to select all the objects that we want to create in our pattern. So that's going to be the background and the snowflake itself. Then we're going to go to the object menu and select pattern make. Now, you'll see Illustrator has opened up the Patterns Options screen that gives us a lot of control over our pattern. Most importantly, probably, is the tile type. You can see that by selecting different options like brick by row or brick by column, you'll see that the layout of the actual pattern changes and gives it a nice offset. You can select your width and height and different items in here to customize the pattern as you need to, but this actually looks pretty good for us. So we're gonna go ahead and give this a name and we'll call this pattern the snowflake. Once we have our pattern named, we'll go near the top toolbar under the ruler and select done. Now, you'll notice our pattern has been automatically added to our swatches. Now we can go to the object we want to fill and simply select that swatch and fill it with our pattern. So I'm going to click into the package again. We're going to use the direct selection tool to select the package, and then I'll go over to our swatches and select the pattern that we created. There we go. But we have one major problem here. The scale of our pattern doesn't match the scale of the object that we want to fill with. You can barely even see the snowflake. So what we'll do is we'll go over to the toolbar and we'll go to the scale tool and we'll double click. When the Scale Options panel opens, it's important to make sure the only thing we have checked is Transform Patterns. We don't want the actual object itself to be scaled, just the pattern within it. And then make sure you've got the preview turned on so you can see your changes. Then we'll simply go over to the Scale, and we'll use a uniform scale, and we'll scale this down, maybe 15%. Perfect. Now you can see our pattern is starting to look a little bit better within our package. Let's go and do 10%. Even better. Now we'll click OK, and we've got a custom pattern that we filled an object with and scaled it to our liking. And that's how to take a custom pattern like this in Illustrator and convert it into a pattern that can be in your swatch panel that you can then use to fill any type of object within your document. That's all for now. Thanks for watching, and good luck on your creative journey.